What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And moving on to the next question. So if f of x equals four to the power of four minus five x, we have to find the value of f of one plus x times f of one minus x. So notice that this is a combination of working with exponential functions and then also working with function notation. So if I rewrite this function here, f of x equals four to the power of four minus five x, let's first start off by getting each of those expressions, f of one plus x and f of one minus x separately, like a simplified form for both of them. So f of one plus x, what we're gonna do is we're going to take this and plug it in for the x value. So we'd have four to the power of four minus five bracket one plus x like that. And then what's gonna happen here is we'd have four to the power of four, we could simplify, so distribute the negative five inside the bracket, and we'd end up with negative five x, four minus five is minus one, right? So f of one plus x is equal to that. And then f of one minus x, following that same pattern, we'd plug in um, one minus x for that x value. And so that would end up being, we'd have negative five and then we'd have positive five x. So this would end up being positive five x and then four minus five would be minus one. I see the only thing that changes is the sign of that, right? So this is f of one minus x, and then this over here is f of one plus x. Now what's gonna happen when we multiply them? Well, we'd have four to the power of negative five uh, x minus one times four to the power of five x minus one like that. Notice we're multiplying two exponential expressions with the same base. So what does that mean? That means that we can add the exponents. We could take this exponent and add that exponent and then have one base, right? Just in general, if we have a to the power of x times a to the power of y, we could add the exponents like that, that's the rule that we applied here. And then from here, notice negative five X plus five X that nets out to zero. And then we have negative one plus negative one, which is like negative one minus one, which would be minus two. And then notice that this would be one over four to the power of positive two, which would give us one over 16. And so that ends up being the final answer for this question.